The Prince of Discs is the airy part of Earth. Um, and for Crowley, it is the element, this is the point where the Earth becomes intelligent. He's, this, what's striking most about this card is very much the, uh, the symbol of the bull that is there. Now the bull is pulling the, ta pulling the chariot. Uh, Crowley says in the, um, in, in, in the Book of Toffs that he is lightly armoured. But of course, um, the prince is actually shown naked here, as are all the princes in the, in the, um, in, in the Toff Tower, despite his description of the armour. It's a bit of a kind of red herring there. Obviously they change their mind at some point as to, as to how they're going to depict the princes. Now, on the, on, his, on the head of his crown, he also has a ball and he's pulled by a ball. So there's a strong Taurian kind of um, feeling with this card. And this goes with the fact that this card rules the 21st degree of Aries to the 20th degree of Taurus. It's a card of immense power and control. In his left hand, he's holding a disc, which is, resembles a globe marked with mathematical um, symbols. This implies the planning involved in agriculture. In his right hand, he holds as an orb scepter, which is a symbol of the great work accomplished. His function is to bring forth from the material of the element that vegetation which is the sustenance of the spirit itself. So this is very much as distinct from the, the, uh, the Prince of Swords, which is the airy part of air and all over the place and there's no there's random thoughts and no planning, no ideas. Here we have the energy of the mind brought to bear to, to manifest and create things. This is why it's to do with the great work. And um, he describes this card as the great energy brought to bear on practical matters. The great work is very much to do with the holy guardian angel and the symbol of uh, spiritual work in general. There's no real difference, interestingly, between whether the card is uh, strongly aspected or weakly aspected. It's pretty much the same picture. This card is also the card of initiation. Uh, Crowley talks about the Christian mystics and um, the book of the law as well. He says that this is the horse house of Venus. The Book of Law asserts the perfection of the universe and its pantheistic conception of all possibilities are equal in value. Each and every point or event is a play of Mewit, as it is written in the books of wisdom or folly. By nothing. Let there be no difference made among you between any one thing and any other thing, for thereby there cometh hurt. But whose availeth in this, lets him be the chief of all. So he's actually making this. This card is, seems quite agricultural, but for Crowley, there's a very strong message here of the as the word made law, if you like. It's it's it's, 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 it's to do with the hierophant that comes into this card as well. It is a hierophant. It's very much to do with Taurus um, and the second house. So these are values and principles that come into contact with this. So with this card, if you if you really want to make your plans happen, because agriculture is, uh, by definition, you plant the seeds in the spring and you have to wait until the summer or the autumn for the fruits to manifest.